created this very simple Visio diagram in order to demonstrate the use of layers. Layers really come into their own with much more complicated diagrams than this. For example, you might have a floor plan with a wiring diagram overlaid. You have the option of putting the elements of the wiring diagram into one layer and the floor plan into another. You can then turn off the visibility of one of those layers in order to study the details in the other layer more closely. Let's demonstrate the principles first by creating a couple of layers. I'm going to put the blue objects into one layer and the red objects into another. So I select the objects I want in the first layer and then from the Home tab I select Layers Assigned to Layer and I give it a name, Blue Layer. And now I need to do the same for the red objects. Select them both and assign them to a new layer, which we'll call Red Layer. Okay, now what I want to be able to do is to selectively turn those layers on and off. And I can already do that with what I've got already. If I go to the Layer Properties window, you'll see that there is a column with a checkbox for visibility. So I can turn the red layer off, turn the blue layer off, or turn them both back on. So effectively, I can do what I set out to do just with this. The problem is that it becomes rather tedious having to open this layer property window every time that you want to toggle a layer on and off. And uh, you can imagine if there are multiple layers and you need to be switching quite rapidly, it, it gets to be a little bit of a pain. So I'm going to look at a different way of doing it. I'm going to add a couple of checkboxes. To do that, I need to be in the Developer tab, and I don't see a Developer tab at the moment, uh, so if yours isn't showing, here's how to get to it. From one of the visible tabs, just anywhere, right mouse click, and then select Customize Ribbon, and here you find Developer. It needs to be checked. So I've now got a Developer tab. Click to go into design mode. And now from the list of insert objects, I find the checkbox and a single click drops the checkbox into the middle of my diagram. Let's just position it there. I'm gonna to need to change the properties of this. I want some text, I want a caption, and um, I, I want to be able to toggle it on and off. So Let's go to the Properties window, and I'm going to change three things. I'm going to give it a name. Default name is Checkbox 1. I'm going to call it Blue Checkbox. I'm going to put a caption on it. And the third thing, I'm going to change the value. False tells me that there's no check mark in the box at the moment. I want the default to be the box is checked. And here you can see I now have my caption and the box is checked. I need a similar thing for the uh, for the red layer. So with this object selected as it is, I can right mouse click, copy, right mouse click, click and paste. And let's center that up. And I need to change the properties there. So back to the property window. I'm going to call this one red checkbox and change the caption to red on. OK, so I've got my checkboxes. They still don't do a great deal. If I come out of design mode, I can click them on and off, but nothing happens. So what does need to happen? Well. I need some code that is going to react when I click this box and the code will turn the visibility off if it's currently on and turn it on if it's currently off. 
code implies Visual Basic code. And I am not a Visual Basic programmer. I can kind of sort of stumble my way through Visual Basic code, but writing it from scratch is not my strong point. So I'm going to let Visio do the heavy lifting. I'm going to create a macro that does more or less what I want to do, and then I'm going to tweak that macro to do exactly what I want it to do. So to record a macro, I need to be on the Developer tab, and I hit the Record Macro button. It asks me for a name, and this is going to be my Lair toggle routine. Uh, it's always good practice to enter a description, but I'll keep it uh, short. I'll skip that step for now. OK, everything I do from now on is going to be captured by Visio and recorded as, as a piece of code in a macro. So I just need to do something quite simple. I need to go back to the Layers tab, open the Layers property window, and turn one of the layers off. I'm going to turn the blue layer off. And that's it. I can stop my recording now. So back to the Developer tab and stop the recording. So I've now got a macro. Before we go and look at it, let me just do one thing, though, just to keep things tidy. I'm going to turn that back on. It says on, so it is on. To see the macro from the developer tab, I can open the macro window, and there is the macro, so I could edit it. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do something slightly different. I'm going to open up the Visual Basic Editor. and I'll find my macro here. So when I look through this, like I said, I, I'm not a VBA coder, so I, there's no way I could have written this from scratch. But looking at it, I can tell a couple of things. I can see in the middle here that I'm referring to a layer by an item number. So it seems reasonable to assume that the blue layer is item number one. I'm also looking at the layer visibility, and I turn the visibility off. so. It looks like a string of zero turns it off, and I'm guessing a string of one will turn it back on again. So I want to replace these with parameters so that I can call this routine from the different click events that we're about to create. So let's make this item number as an integer, and let's call this one on off, and that's a string. So I'm going to take item number and I'm going to put that there and I'm going to take on off and I'm going to replace this string with the parameter. So this is the code that I want to call when I click one of those checkboxes. So I need to put some code in the click event of the checkboxes and I find that up here by double clicking the document layers and checkboxes. And in the drop down, I can find the blue checkbox and the red checkbox. So there's no code in there yet. It's just um, set up the, the, the shell for entering the code. And the code's going to be fairly simple. Um, even as a non VBA programmer, I can manage this. So I'm going to say if blue checkbox is true. I don't actually need to type is true because it's a boolean. So if blue checkbox kind of implies is true. So if it's true, which means the box is checked, I want to make sure that my layer toggle routine for layer one, the blue layer, is on string of one. And I also want to make sure that the caption on the checkbox says blue on. So I am going to change the blue checkbox caption property, and that's going to be set to blue on. And then the opposite of that, if, if not blue checkbox, which is my else part of the if statement, uh, is going to be a couple of lines. I'm going to copy and paste those in there. And instead of turning on, I'm going to turn off. And of course, the caption is now going to say off. For the red checkbox, I can do something very similar. So I'm just going to copy and paste the code in there. And then I need to change blue to red. And I can do that by selecting all the code, pressing Control 
h and doing a uh, replace all so if uh, if it's blue then uh, replace it with red i've already got red typed in there now I'll replace all yes and you'll see that i'm now looking at red checkbox so the only other thing i need to do is make sure that i'm looking at the correct layer now i would have loved to have found a way to reference the layer by its actual name rather than a number but to be honest i have no idea how to go about doing that so i'm sticking with the numbers and i, I did a little bit of experimentation before this just to confirm that that uh, blue is one which we knew from the macro and uh, red is two so this should do the trick for us so let's go back to our diagram and now when we turn blue off it disappears and the text turns to blue and I can turn red off the same way and I can turn them on and off mission accomplished and that's the end of this tutorial thank you for watching i have a few more planned uh, they're in the pipeline so stay tuned for those thank you